It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a bird that's a plane. The Robird Flying Robot by Don Zoldi At the Edmonton International Airport and Grand Forks International Airport in North Dakota, a peregrine falcon soars near the runway to deter birds from interfering with air traffic. It looks real. But it's not. It's a flying robot called the Robird Registered. Robird has wings that flap. It flies, like a falcon, for five-minute high-impact stints. Also like its counterpart in nature, the Robird can reach speeds of up to 27 miles per hour. Watch a video here. Arium Analytics, a multidisciplined drone solutions company based in Calgary, Alberta, produces this novel drone, a ornithopter, that mimics the look and actions of the predatory bird. Data first. Since its inception in 2016, the company has specialized in geospatial intelligence, data analytics, visualization, and software development for global clients across a myriad of industries. According to Arium CEO Jordan Sicoria, the family business, the Lornal Group, a professional environmental stewardship and compliance consultancy created by his mother in 1982, spun the company off to harness the power of aerial data for environmental good. Arium originally focused on using drones in support of Lornal's primary sectors, forestry, energy, mining, and logistics. Sicoria, with over 15 years' experience in regulatory and environmental management explained, it's all about the data. Drones can collect vast sums of high-quality geospatial data in a fraction of the time it would take to do it manually. Over time, the company grew its drone fleet. It developed artificial intelligence-powered detection and analysis software and a simplified visualization portal. This suite of tools takes the collected data and rapidly translates it into useful visual information for decision-makers in highly regulated industries such as airports and mining. Arium's use cases at airports include real-time detection of foreign object debris FOD, runway markings inspections and perimeter security. In the wildlife and forestry sectors, Arium's drones and back-end analytics support habitat risk analysis and attraction potential, high-risk slope and fiber inventory analysis, road selection support and asset-slash-infrastructure maintenance efforts. In the energy sector, the company monitors tailings ponds, engineered dam and dike facilities that hold the byproducts of mining operations extraction processes. All of these sectors, Sicoria realized, shared a similar problem, negative bird and human interactions. Wildlife solution hatched. In aviation, as migratory patterns change and more aircraft take to the skies, potentially deadly bird strikes continue to rise. In mining, bird landings on tailing ponds can lead to bird deaths and other negative impacts to migratory bird species. In some cases, these bird deaths can also impact company bottom lines, in the form of steep environmental regulatory fines. Sicoria also knew that current methods of bird deterrence, such as pyrotechnics, air cannons and loudspeakers had minimal effect. They also had their own second-order negative environmental impacts. In 2016, Sicoria found the perfect solution. As he described it, on a fateful trip to Japan as part of an Alberta delegation to an aerospace convention, he met with Edmonton International Airport and simultaneously discovered Robird, created by Netherlands-based Clear Flight Solutions, also known as the Drone Bird Company. He knew it would be a perfect bird strike mitigation and wildlife management tool. He immediately brought it to Canada. Three years later, Arium purchased the worldwide rights to Robird. It now manufactures them in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Its pilots fly them manually around the world in places ranging from high-visibility airports in the U.S. and Canada to blueberry farms in the Netherlands and dredging operations in Kazakhstan. Robird's impacts have been profound. Positive impacts soaring. Arium's partner airports have reported up to an 80% reduction in bird strikes year over year. Its mining clients have seen a 75% reduction in bird mortalities in the same time span. Sicoria said, Robird works because the peregrine falcon is one of the most feared aerial predators in the world. It is known on six of the seven continents. 
nearly every flocking bird species has been predated on by peregrines. He refers to the drone as a sheepdog in the sky. Arium plans to continue building on Robird's success. Its vision is to have full autonomous flocks in a box, with onboard detect and avoid and integrated wildlife detection sensors. Eventually, it seeks to bring Robert to market using a hardware as a service model. Equity and Grant's fundraising efforts are currently underway. Robert is a perfect example of the evolution of drone technology, which looks at what nature does incredibly well and finds ways to replicate. The integration of drones in our daily lives will occur when they make work and life safer and benefit the world. Robert does just that, said Sicoria. Read more commercial drone news at dronelife.com.